day everyone this lesson is actually the second part of my discussion regarding piecewise functions as a recall piecewise functions are defined by two or more equations with a specific set of intervals below is an example of a piecewise function as you have observed there are two equations and in each equation there is a specific set of interval Previously, I have shared to you on how to represent real-life situations using piecewise functions. And today, I'll be sharing another example. You can read a problem on your screen. Let us identify the given data in this problem. First, we have 20 pesos per hour or a fraction of an hour for the first two hours. The second given is an additional 10 pesos per hour for each succeeding hour. Take note that it is specified in the problem to use R of T to represent the computer rental fee. So this is our function, where T is the number of hours you spent on the computer. The question is, how many equations are we to make from the given problem? There are actually two equations. The first equation will represent 20 pesos per hour or a fraction of an hour for the first two hours. And the second equation will have to represent this additional 10 pesos per hour for each succeeding hour. Let us have the first given. If you will use one hour, of course, you will be charged with 20 pesos. What if it's only 15 minutes? Will it still be 20 pesos? Yes, still you will have to pay 20 pesos. It's because it is clearly specified here or a fraction of an hour. This means to say that whether you use 5 minutes, 10, 15, 30, 45, or even 59 minutes, you will still be charged 20 pesos. A fraction of an hour is just equivalent to one hour. Now for two hours, of course, you have to pay 20 pesos times two equals 40 pesos. From this illustration, we can therefore write the equation R of T equals 20 T if zero is less than T, less than or equal to two in this particular interval two is included now take note of this symbol this is actually called the ceiling function and this is applied to t the ceiling function of a number x gives the smallest integer greater than or equal to x for example the ceiling function of quantity 4.1 is just equal to the ceiling function of quantity 4.9 which is equal to 5. Now in contrast with the ceiling function, we also have this what we call as the flooring function. The flooring function of a number x gives the largest integer less than or equal to x. For example, if we have the flooring function of quantity 4.1, that is equal to the flooring function of quantity 4.9 which is equal to 4. Please do not be confused on the symbols. One thing that you need to remember when it comes to ceiling function, you have to round it up. While for the flooring function, you have to round it down. I hope that it is clear to you. So going back to our problem, we are done with the first equation. Our second equation is like this. In the interval, we use this t greater than 2. It's because more than 2 hours can be written as t greater than 2. While in our equation, we use this 40 plus 10 times quantity t minus 2 where the ceiling function is also applied to quantity t minus 2. Where did we get 40? Our first 2 hours is already 40 pesos. That's why we have here 40. And where do we get 10? It's in the given additional 10 pesos. Then we have t minus 2, where t is the time for more than 2 hours. So for example, if you will use just 
30 minutes, what equation will you use? Will it be the first equation or the second equation? 30 minutes is found in this particular set of intervals, so you will use this. And remember, this is the ceiling function, so 30 minutes is actually equal to 1 hour, so of course, you will be paying 20 pesos. Now, what about if you will use 3 hours? We use the second equation already. So, substituting 3 to t, we have 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 10 times 1 is actually 10 and added to 40, that means you need to pay 50 pesos. What if the user will only use 2 hours and 30 minutes in the computer shop? 2 hours and 30 minutes is found in this particular interval. That's why we use the second equation. So substituting 2 hours and 30 minutes is equivalent to 2.5 hours. 2.5 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5 and take note since this is the ceiling function, 0 0.5 is equivalent to 1 hour. Simplifying, we have 50 pesos. So whether you use for 3 hours or for 2 hours and 30 minutes, you will have to pay the same amount which is 50 pesos. Here are some tips that might be helpful for you to represent piecewise functions. See you again in our next discussion.